Hello and welcome to a special edition of Castle of Horror. Uh, this is your host Jason Henderson, co-publisher at Castle Bridge Media, and with me is Tony Savaggio, uh, our reviewer and constant cast member, and also the composer of the music of the show. And uh, recently, we've uh, had a look at a couple of new releases that Tony is going to chat about that we wanted to bring your attention to. So, uh, Tony, what are we talking about? So, a couple of things that have gotten released, and these are the reason I wanted to to, to talk about them is a they're they're special to me, and I've, I've talked a little bit about some of this, but um, I, you know, over the course of be, you know being an animator, being a person who just really likes uh, you know watches all kinds of animation, uh, you know, Venture Brothers and Metal Metalocalypse uh, both have been kind of constant companions in in a stuff that i really really dug um and so recently you know there was both shows looked kind of like they were canceled and they 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 were more or less and then both decided that they were going to wrap up their series um you know there could be stuff in the future but but they finally both series finally got to wrap up in with movies so uh i was recently sent uh metalocalypse army of the doomstar Prior to this, we had Metalocalypse, the Doomstar Requiem, which was kind of a transition uh, directly after season four. Um, and then there's since then there hasn't been you know much. I think they were trying to discuss like maybe they finish in a comic book, etc. Uh, but what we get is uh, like I said, Metalocalypse, Army of Doomstar, and I really dug this. One thing I like about Metalocalypse is also being in a band. Like you can recognize there's a lot of band tropes. Um, there are also some of the, the they're like the cliche of every bad idea that a band has had. <laughs> and, you know, because, uh, because, you know, the, everybody writing on it uh, has, you know, has some, like, you know, they've gotten a lot of band members to be, to be in the show and, you know, music factors so heavily into it. Uh, you know, Brendan Small is a musician. And so his, it always struck me as like, this is somebody who knows what bands are, who's dealt with bands and knows how to, poke fun of the things in metal that are ridiculous and kind of need to be poked fun at while also it's not laughing at the genre per se you know and the band will say things like oh we hate all the fans and like it's but it's this whole thing and but it felt very genuine i know i know metalheads who are really like screw this for him, him for making fun of this or that and i'm like you know what in metal it kind of that's okay to make fun of it you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like spinal tap gets it to me, Metalocalypse yes. gets it. Um, and I was going to say that the use of bad idea. ideas is like so Spinal Tap, like uh, absolutely. Oh, constantly, and the the extreme part of it. He's also a really good metal musician, and there, are, you know, I've caught what, the early Death Clock tour, and it was great. Like, sounded great. The people he works with are are awesome. His band is great. Um, I will say, so this Blu-ray, I mean, the, going through and seeing it as a movie, in some ways, I kind of do wish that we had gotten a whole series mm -hmm. because there's parts where I'm like, oh, I wish they could have expanded this a little bit more. But after waiting so long to get this kind of closure, um, and, you know, I don't want to put too many spoilers in, but if you've watched up until now, you know there's this idea of the Doomstar and there's a, a secret society that, that needs... There's secret societies who want to kill Death Clock. There's parts that need them. And this idea that it takes a really silly show where there's, you know, the first episode they're singing about this, you know, death metal coffee and they're killing fans and having it progress towards this plot that deepens and deepens and uh, bringing back returning characters and kind of really, it also is weird because it delves into this, uh, the psyche of each member of the band and kind of make, also makes fun of that. Like you'll see bands and documentaries, they go into a retreat or they do, you know, all this kind of stuff of like a band that's coming back and finding themselves and all those things. We find them in that, but of course it's in the most ridiculously metal way because that's how the show is. Um, you gotta, it's also like the only thing that, that separate, like that is the give and take on, even though I would like to have seen a series, is because it's a self-contained movie, they could spend more more time and money and effort on um effects like visual effects and really try to expand the scope of things mm. which uh you know you might not could do if you had a smaller budget because you know some animation especially series are getting smaller and smaller budgets or we're, we're uh you know seeing that diminish or on streaming i still don't understand like i think with venture brothers and metalocalypse they're actually taking the shows off of max at the same time they're releasing their movies which is ridiculous 
ridiculous. That's shocking. In, in I, to me, like I, I've lost like, my I don't capacity know. to be. Like, obviously, I'm offended by that, and I'm shocked by it, but I'm also... Is it possible to be both shocked and not surprised anymore? Oh, of course. Of course. I mean, I, you know, again, I, I feel sometimes very Roy Batty in yeah. the fact that, like, <laughs> I've seen things, things, same things you wouldn't believe in the animation industry. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not even in the thick of it in the same way that William Street, you know, Cartoon Network, etc. Like, I haven't worked at a studio that's like that, uh, you know... Rooster Teeth was a microcosm of that when I worked there. But it's still, I mean, you talk to enough people and you all kind of capitulate and you figure out, you know, we work with people in different industries, uh, yeah. you know, or powerhouse animation, you know, did Castlevania and He-Man and all of that. Like I know some of those guys, and you know, or people, I should say, you know, across the board, across the spectrum. I've met people at both of those, you know, and we talk about all of that. Um, but yeah, I think the, uh, there's also a really great on the Blu-ray. There's a making of where they really talk about the development of the movie. Um, and I think it's interesting that since there has been you know a decent amount of time between releases, the idea of kind of coming back to these characters, uh, they talk a lot about that and what they wanted to do as far as making a movie and how it was different um, and interesting. I thought the documentaries, I you know, in a eventually I wish there was one that was a you know super audio version of all the you know the concerts and everything like that like a super super deluxe package of Metalocalypse yeah. but I'm going to take what I can get that's wishful thinking that's me being a fan uh but I you know looks beautiful sounds great really goes back to the characters um if you're a fan I think it's going to be bittersweet to see the kind of finale but it's also you know, literally let's get the band back together <laughs> like if I figured it figuratively and literally and behind the scenes it's that you know hey here's the art director's back and they're making new music and the people involved in the music are great and they're getting guest stars uh you know mark hamill is coming back kirk hammett a metallica is a voice uh mm. you know you see all your favorites uh you know dr roxo the rock and roll clown who's kind of their extreme version of you know david lee roth meets you know parody <laughs> All of that, you know, all that stuff, all the stuff you're familiar with that you kind of want to come back along with the just rampant destruction and insanity of, you know, definitely being able to have an adult uncensored version of the movie because you're releasing it on uh, Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, and all, also, also being on Blu-ray. So it looks really amazing uh, as opposed to, you know, some of the older stuff because, uh, you know, if you only have the DVD, like stepping that up is really impressive. So uh, I do highly recommend if you're a fan of Metalocalypse, and it does cross into, you know, a lot has been written about metal and horror together. And I think the sheer audacity of the gore and just ridiculousness, everything that you've seen, if you've seen, a, you know, good metal horror that you like, and, you know, your mileage may vary on that, um, I think blends into uh, Metalocalypse. So it was really great to come back to these characters, these stories, this ridiculousness, it, you know, it's kind of more serious in some ways, but still retains that, that humor. Um, also lots of great movie references. I caught a little bit of, you know, my opinion, apocalypse now, some Akira, there's some, uh, you know, just there's carpenter in there. There's all kinds of bits where they could really kind of expand on that and use movie language as the palette. Um, I thought that was great. So, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things where like, I knew I wanted to see this and, and it's nice when you're pleasantly surprised, not surprised, probably not, but when it comes out, like, I think this is good closure in a way that is hard to do, especially when you're coming back to a franchise, right? Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, so what is up with the Venture Brothers? So also, uh, you know, I talked a little bit about it. I think I posted the artwork and, and you know, I'm a huge Venture Brothers fan. It's one of those things where I, I just think the writing's amazing. Uh, I think I've said it before. It's kind of, to me, it's weaponized pop culture for the greater good. Like, <laughs> I'm envious that they have written some of the stuff. I'm like, oh, I wish I would. That's too it, clever. It is, it is, I hate yeah, you I for being that, that good. And I'm yeah. I'm happy and I want to give you a hug for being that good. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just layers and layers of things. So uh, they also had the same thing where they said, hey, uh, we're not doing a final series. We're going to do a movie. And what we get is the Venture Brothers, Radiant is the Blood of the Baboon Heart, <laughs> which is also one of those like, yeah, that's that's Venture Brothers for you. Um, also, same vein. You know, this is a closure to the series. I mean, definitely leaves room for much, much more, right? But in taking the last 
uh, season, you know, last series that was on TV and then just saying, well, we left in a cliffhanger. We're coming back to this. What do we do? And it deals with, you know, tries to, to clean up hanging threads as well as introduce some new like, oh, that's pretty good. Or, oh, I didn't expect that. Um, also taking advantage of being a movie, um, you know, how to, how to put to get that together with the pacing. And in some ways, I, I also would have liked to have seen a you know, this expanded into a full series, but in some ways it felt almost more complete as a movie than the mm-hmm. aforementioned Metalocalypse. Um, I, I did, I felt like I wanted more of the Metalocalypse. Uh, not that I didn't want more Venture Brothers, but I think it's so hard to encapsulate everything I wanted in that one. And I think um, Radiance, the Blood of the Baboon Heart, really felt like hey you can take this movie if you can bring back all these characters uh you can expand upon themes it's still sharp uh still looks great um and again expanding it onto blu-ray and onto the movies um especially when you have the dvd box set that's come out and both of these have had dvd box sets of their full runs come out recently as well a lot of people were like hey why didn't you put this on blu-ray um i don't know why that is, there are many reasons why I could see that happening. But um, for example, the Venture Brothers first episodes, people wondered, like, they were really incensed that they, they weren't expanded to 16 by 9. But the problem is, you can't do that because it was in Flash. Mm-hmm. And they only rendered it, you know, without thinking of the future. Huh. The first Venture Brothers episodes were rendered in a way where they, uh, That's interesting. you just can't upscale them, really. Right. Like, it was a time, like, there was, like, people in their kind of their basement you know they you know ask the astro base but it was pretty much you know people hold up in a tiny room doing flash animation uh in a you know and using weird audio formats and everything they mm-hmm. uh, yeah but you know expanding on that um this this movie really does uh again i don't want to put too many spoilers because if you're a fan uh you, i want you to kind of run through it but i think you know again bring back characters there's some really great bits jason i think you would really enjoy like see really watch the movie um you know both of them are on vod as well are coming out on vod uh i know that venture brothers already there and i'm pretty sure i have to double check uh about metalocalypse but um it's definitely you know the blu-ray is the way i prefer to see it (laughs) so uh, uh, does it have the original cast the venture brothers cast yeah 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 it's great patrick warburton and, and everything yeah 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 yeah, awesome. um, fantastic. And it it <laughs> stuff again. They're t- they're tying up some things while expanding other things and leaving you there, which is they do a really good job with the Venture Brothers. Um, even down to the closing uh, section, which is like, ah, oh, okay, nice. Uh, you know, tying up some loose ends and just introducing like, wait, what? Um, also, there's a really great one. There's there's behind the scenes stuff, but there's a really great commentary track, which is a Q&A commentary track where they compiled people's hmm. questions and then answer them throughout. Oh, that's neat. That's really cool. I thought was really like there and there's, you know, because they've had time to kind of peruse things and, and take them. They But they it's interesting because they play the whole they play the movie as the commentary you know you listen to the commentary track but um you know it's going on in the background while they answer all these questions i guess submitted you know through email i i assume um and then they kind of pick which ones they like and answer commentary you know answer q a and then kind of talk about what it's like and where they are in their lives now you mm-hmm. know because they've gone through a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff happens over the years um, you know, what it's like, like the differences between, you know, the original Astro Base days and now where they're at and what they wanted to do with the with the show, with the movie. And I thought that was fascinating in amongst, uh, you know, it does have it has more extras uh, than the Metalocalypse Blu-ray. But I thought is a really good wrap up. Um, if you're a fan, I think you should be satisfied overall. I, I know I was and it was good to be kind of it's just good to be back in that universe. Uh, with that, you know, their voice is sharp. Um, and they talk a, a bit about also, you know, they they lucked out and their voice was always, they were always the showrunners. Um, and so they they keep a consistent voice throughout and that extends to the movie. I mean, it's unfortunate that we don't get like a billion seasons of each, in my opinion. But, yeah. you know, you, business happens the way it happens, you know? Right. Well, um, and there's a, there's a good lot of, venture brothers so this is that i I mean there's like 81 episodes of the venture brothers so 
Very cool. Um, but I've been really happy. It was really nice to revisit this. And, you know, uh, I hope to talk about Venture Brothers earlier. Uh, but, you know, we were on hiatus. And so, you know, I, but I, you know, I, like I said, I tried to kind of preface everybody and post where I could. But, uh, you know, it's been good to, to get the full review. And I really hope that, you know, some of our fans are also Venture Brothers fans. I think there's a lot that in the writing and in the humor and just in, you know, we've talked a lot about kind of our era, our firm, our, our Gen X sensibilities. Yes. Right? And I think there's a lot of pop culture, uh, Gen X sensibilities in Venture Brothers, especially, you know, rewatching episodes where there's 80s video references in this one underground cult and stuff and going, oh, oh I forgot how clever what's that so was. What's so strange yeah. about it, about you know the venture brothers as is it's a gen gen, that stuff was playing as repeats on tv when gen x was a child because what they're parodying is stuff like from the 60s you know exactly exactly from when our parents were adults but before we were born you know right Um, it's a very very specific (laughs) yeah so it's a weird and we don't we don't necessarily, and that's what's interesting about doing these movies, you know, with time in between them. Yeah, is the humor like our a lot has changed since even the finale, the the TV finales of both Metalocalypse and Venture Brothers, right? Mm-hmm. So how do you update and keep people wanting to come back when me, even media sensibilities have changed? And I think that they both do a really good job of retaining what was cool and awesome about that. Yeah. And, and, you know, keeping the expectations of what made both series great. And that's not always easy. Uh, You can see multiple relaunches or new episodes. You're like, I just don't think that this quite worked how I had hoped. And both of these movies were satisfying to me as a fan, which is kind of not really an easy task, to be honest with you. Well, that's wonderful. Um, When you, when you, you know, people's lives change, people's, we've had a whole, you know, lockdown pandemic, you know, like what, how does that affect everything and you know so on the plus side uh while we're all changed people i think you know on the plus side is in this case both of these series have had gotten finales that would be satisfying if they were you know a season or a movie <clears throat> and these movies have you know they're finally able to to tell the the stories they wanted to tell um within you know i'm sure there's stuff they would love to ex- have expanded on uh but you know if this is if this is the end of each which, you know, I hope it's not, um, I would be more than happy. And the good thing about also with Metalocalypse is you're getting a whole tour. Uh, I think the tour with Baby Metal it might still be going on. I can't remember. I have to look at the dates. I couldn't afford I think I think the closest one, if I remember correctly, for me was Dallas, and I just can't make it. But, you know, the fact they're still making, like, going on tour with that, that's yeah. always been super cool. Um, especially, like, the tour I saw, they were still doing Easter eggs that were kind of leading into the series and stuff, and they had screens, and uh, it was really well done presentation uh and the music's still really good i you know i have all the cds and i still dig on the ridiculous i mean it, it it's good music that also parodies what i think should be parodied but also is strong and i know like i said some metalheads feel like you're it's not sacred or you're, you're uh-huh. really making fun of of what i what is so much a part of my culture how dare you but you know, to yeah. me, I think that there's a there's an aspect of it where it is still a sacred genre for for me, right? Um, yeah, I've you know, like I've said before, I've encountered where I've almost gotten I've got skin in the game. I've almost gotten beaten up for not being the 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 genre that I like. I've certainly gotten yeah, uh, you know, flack for it or just I don't understand this or what the hell is this? Um, but I also it, you know can freely admit that it is a bizarre and often ridiculous thing to that still exists. So the fact that we're getting this with the with the movie, um, and the fact that we have you know in, the, in pop culture land we're getting it with Venture Brothers you know on the side is that's a good time man and i really uh i hope that that if there are you know fans who are listening to this that you'll also check out both and i hope that that uh it's satisfying to to you as much as it was to me uh because we've all kind of been on a journey through this this whole thing excellent okay thank you very very much i'm glad that we this this is kind of a neat thing that i think we should do more where we where we focus in on stuff we've been watching recently that we want to bring attention to so so um thank you very very much for walking us yeah. through the latest releases of both the venture brothers and metalocalypse yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I agree. I would love to do to do more of this stuff too. I mean, you know, it's we review stuff, we we review movies that we like, but it's it's often, you know, we have to do this kind of on the side because you know we have X amount of time. We often talk, yeah, you know, <laughs> a couple hours on our just about the movie we're reviewing, and you know, as studios are sending out, you know, I want to talk about the things that we love. And, and promote those things because I feel like that's to me that's where that's where my comfort zone is like hey if you're also a fan here's here's what's cool and and if you haven't watched either of these you know I hope that you check out uh either the series you know however you can or, or get the box sets of the series which are also you know of value a bunch yeah. of those have comment you know they have commentary tracks and everything and then you know go through that journey to the movies um I feel like these are two of the the shows that have kind of set the pace that I come back to often. So it was really cool to see this. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you that I would like to do more of this. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Um, all right. Well, then we'll, we'll talk about whatever comes next and um, cool. have a fantastic evening. Thank you for sharing, for sharing what you've discovered with us. Yeah. And thanks to everybody for, for sticking up for the supplementary version of uh, Castle of Horror. Yes. Thank you. Cool. Bye. Take care.